Hello everyone, share technology, share life. Regarding the installation of the native Google GMS, I have received feedback from many friends. In this video, I will share with you some solutions to those problems. Of course, if you still don't know how to install the native Google GMS on Harmony OS 2, you can follow the link in the video description below. First of all, the first problem is the warning of the Play Protect Certified error. I have already shared the solution in the previous video. If you still receive the alarm after finished the whole process, then you can try the method shared in this video to see if it can be resolved. Please leave a message after the test. The second problem is encountered in the first step of the installation of MicroG with the help of a Google Fire app prompting that there is a higher version of MicroG or the signature is inconsistent and cannot be installed. The third problem, the Google Service Assistant cannot be used, prompting that another application is currently displayed on the top of these options, the setting unable to respond to your operation. Ok, let's move to my Huawei phone, let's go. Ok, now welcome to my Huawei phone. First, we let's check the settings and the system update, software update. Have a look. Now I'm using the latest Harmony OS 2 system. Okay, let's go back to desktop. And I have received some feedback that uh, that uh, the setting of the not auto update doesn't work for some friends. But uh, for my Huawei phone, I already use this phone for more than uh, 20 days since my previous fix of the uh, error, I mean the Google uh, uh, Play Protect certified error. After that, I switch off the settings of here, this one, and uh, the settings and the network preference here. Download preference, ask me every time. It sets it like that, ask me every time, done. And auto update, don't auto update, done. So not setting the auto update, so after that, I will show you the settings and go to the app and the services and apps. Let's go, go to check the GOO. Have a look, the Google Play services. You can see I'm still using the old version of 20.12.14. 20 20 so this is the old version. After I setting like that here in this uh, settings, not auto update, don't auto update and don't ask me every time. This Google service, uh, Google Play uh, service not update again. So now there's no any warning. So you will uh, can do the setting like that to protect the uh, Google service, Google service. Um, I mean auto update. So using the old older version and there will be no uh, error warning of the Play uh, Play certified uh, error. Okay, so. Next, I will show you another setting. Maybe it can help you to avoid this, get this error message of the Play uh, 35 error. Okay, let's go to the Play, uh, Google Play, and go to the setting. And uh, here you can see this Play Protect. Let's go to the Play Protect and uh, go to this gear here. Just to switch off the Play uh, Play Protect settings. Turn off. I can turn off this one and maybe it can help you. But for my, uh, I mean for my mobile phone, there's no need to do this setting because it already, there's no error warning for me. So if you still get this error warning, then you can have a try to see if uh, this uh, switch off, this toggle, toggle this off can help you to avoid and receive these uh, error warnings uh, from the Play service, I mean Play Google Play Store or something like or from the Google Map. Okay, another option for you, I think you can turn off the notification of the Play Store or the Google Map. Turn off the uh, notification. Just to, I think this is a workaround for you to uh, switch off the annoying error message warning, like tweet, 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 always uh, the, the sound like that. Okay, another solution for the Google Fire. The, we some friends received the feedback from this Google Fire said it cannot install the first step. Let's go to the Google Fire and. Uh, first step, they failed to the first step. For me, I already finished the first step. So there's no first step for me. Uh, first step and second step, they, they are disappeared. But if you cannot start your first step, 
which said there's already installed the micro G on your phone or the signature is not uh, something like the signature problem then you need to fix this issue to continue the step one so what should you do uh, to avoid this uh, uh, warning and stop you installing this uh, micro G app then you need to switch off two settings here I will go to the settings and go back then you need to switch off the app and service here app twin app twin which means you can duplicate uh, login to two different account on the same app so you need to switch off for this one I already switched off switched off all the uh, app twins so app twins lets you log into an app with two different accounts at the same time when you enabled twin apps will be displayed on the home screen this feature is currently not supported on third-party launchers so uh, if you, you are using app twin and switch on maybe someone like like uh, on the list then you will facing the issue on the uh, um, I mean on the Google Fire you cannot finish the step one there will there will be a warning said you cannot install the micro G okay so you need to switch off the app twin another one is let's go back to the privacy here yeah, this one the privacy and the privacy you needed to uh, like uh, pro private space the private space if you toggle on then you need to toggle off to switch it off for me I already switched off the privacy uh, private space you need to switch off the private red space okay then go to the Google Fire again go to the desktop Google Fire then you can start your step one to install the micro G and there will be no warning said uh, the micro G cannot be installed because of the signature or the uh, higher version of the micro G so this issue will be fixed okay then the third problem is the uh, Google service assistant this one Google service assistant for me I can open this assistant and there's no any uh, warnings if you are receiving a warning said this is not supported then you need to uh, I mean for the EMUI 11 you need to downgrade your EMUI EMUI 11 to the EMUI 10 then you then you can use the uh, Google service assistant okay but for my uh, for but for this questions is not related to this uh, issues it's already related to the uh, issues of the blue button if you click the blue button and there is a warning said uh, there is uh, another application on the top of this uh, screen so you cannot uh, activate this uh, blue button then you need to uh, do the uh, solutions to fix this issue to stop to uh, avoid this uh, error the then you need to go back to the step because of the another application on the top of this screen then you cannot uh, activate this button okay then you need to for example you are using screen recorder here screen recorder then you can see this is a flow bar flow button on the top of the screen then you can you cannot using this uh, 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 this activate uh, buttons so you needed to switch off so you needed to uh, switch off this uh, float bar to avoid these uh, um, issues another thing is if you are open switched on the settings of the navigation if you are using the navigation dock this one navigation dock then you need to switch off the navigation dock uh, on your phone switch off okay switch off the navigation dock then you can click this blue button to activate the Google service assistant after that then you go back to your uh, desktop and start the process of step one step two step three to using the Google Fire to install the Google GMS on your uh, on your phone using the native installation native G Google GMS uh, to install it on your phones okay that's the uh, solutions for the above mentioned three questions if you like my sharing don't forget to sum up and subscribe to the channel see you next time bye bye